Hi, I'm near Stockholm, place called Kumla, and I found here some nice parts of the fortress, which is built on the First World War. And I quite tried to get inside to show you what they look like. It's called a sausage line, actually. And it was built on the First World War, about 100 years ago today, to uh, defend Sweden, or more or less Stockholm. So you can see those are the shooting holes here. Sorry, but the um, um, graffiti, graffiti guys has been busy here, as you can see. Okay, I try to adjust this here. I think actually you can see many of those here. So we will just exit from here, as you can see also the the doors and, the, and everything are very good shape and can be even more or less closed. And here you can see that the fence line will continue on ground. Yeah, it looks like a top of the submarine, I would say. And of course, lots of natural rock which is <coughs> very, uh, which uh, Stockholm and Sweden are very rich. And here you already can see the next bunker. But this bunker is not accessible fully. You can only go inside. And then you need to return because it doesn't have any other exit here. But you can see someone has tried to do some kind of work here and add some um, stuff here. But actually this uh, wooden pallet is, is not um, necessary here because it doesn't fall in, never. It's a very solid, solid concrete. So it will probably last forever. <clears throat> because you can imagine today it is uh, 2016 and those here are built more or less 1916, 1918, when the First World War broke loose. So you can see the tube is going from there. And this is also again on ground. You can also see that in 100 years, there has lots changed here from the uh, fauna side, because um, the trees were not here when they built it. Of course, and now you see the next one will start from here. Next part of the sausage line. <clears throat> also the long one. It has a door here, you can see. Probably. Yeah. But this door the, is not openable. And this goes now a little bit down from here. I wish I would have a better lamp with me. This uh, small LED lens doesn't show that good. But yeah, you can see out of it. Now we have trees here, but those times back, there was more like, you could see a sea from here even. <clears throat> and as you can see, lots of uh, shooting holes are pointed towards the sea. And of course, lots of graffiti again. They have had a lot of fun here, probably. <clears throat> and uh, this is not it. It will still continue. Now you go out here, and you will continue on ground, where you can see the, the fence on the, on the right side. And the next, the next part of the sausage will start here. And this is actually the long one. I will climb to the top to show you this before I go in. Or actually, I can come back later on top of it. <coughs> so, still the door. You see all the metal doors are here. Actually, I am from Estonia, and in Estonia, all this of stuff is already uh, taken away to the scrap, metal scrapyard to get some money. 
quite a small money compared to the history that way they, they were really doing this but yeah people people are different okay and yeah once again shooting and this is i think this is the longest one here you can see another entrance yeah it doesn't have the door anymore and now it's it's going by this another one with the door and then um, some strange hole in it <clears throat> and you can see they have also shooting holes on the other side here and it will continue and this is the end and you can exit from here again and then of course you can go by this side and previously you saw that there was a made of uh, ordinary wood on the right side not the wood sorry ordinary rock on the right side but here you can see this is a concrete wall a little bit different and again one entrance under the ground i'll try to go from here okay uh, well this is a little bit different from the from the previous ones you can see here was some kind of mechanism and you have a really thick wall, you can see from here, it's 50 or 60 centimeters, I can tell you. And the ceiling is covered with the metal plates. Okay, it's going even deeper from here. Yeah, but here it will end also. This is a little bit different than the others. And probably it was a bomb shelter or ammo shelter that's maybe they have a thicker wall and everything they needed to protect ammo a little bit better <clears throat> and i think if i'm correct then here it here it is where it ends this sausage line and they told me that it's it's not the it is not the only one here in Sweden or in Stockholm. And probably I will go later and try to find the other part of this also. Yeah, you can see how it is built here. <clears throat> Maybe I can show you the other side as well. I hope my battery won't die now. Yeah, it's actually quite too risky to climb here and yeah, of course the forest will mask it quite good at the moment <clears throat> yeah Okay, I promised you to show the top, top of the biggest sausage also. So let's go back to there. <clears throat> and maybe I could get up from here some. <coughs> yes. Yes, okay. And now you can see how it goes. From here, this is, and there. It's quite long, the longest one. And you can also maybe probably see how high I am. You can see some cars and the houses down there. So I'm up on the hill. <clears throat> yeah. And you can see all the all the holes for the shooting. So the Sweden prepared quite well. Oh yeah, it's something here, covered. Somebody has made here something. This is like a, a forest, forest house made of uh, made of uh, trees.
Okay, and here you can see the end of it. And you can see we were previously we were inside of this also. A little bit back to go. And yeah. And this was the entrance of this. And you can see the roads going from here as well. It's a little bit tricky to get <coughs> down from here. I will go back where I see this strange thing. Yeah, let's see what's this. Yeah. Oh, it could be nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, and uh, go on and explore yourself. Bye.